Can we talk? Unbearable, I can hardly even concentrate. Junlei better hurry up with those. I thought there'd be more machinery. Must be housed on a sub-level. I could spend all day in here and not have looked at half the best stuff. It's all pretty much. <laughs> Junlei Tennyson. I'm captain around here, but chief to my friends. Hope you don't mind the formal introduction. Groundbreaker doesn't see many visitors. I heard we had someone in impound. Wish I could help. I gave the bureaucrats a motive authority over freight traffic, and it rankles them good when I challenge it. Just so we understand each other, I'm the final word on the ship. The Mardits, the crew, the engineers, their family. I hope there won't be any problems while you're visiting. Ain't that always the way? So what brings you to Groundbreaker? I'm curious, even though nine times out of ten, the answer is just passing through. Interesting. The powers that be paint an ugly picture of Monarch. Critters and such. Maybe someone in the promenade can get you the right weapon for the job. We see a lot of the same faces coming and going. Most of them board spies and corporate sprats. Makes it hard to trust outsiders. You seem different, so welcome aboard. What? I didn't think you just... Parvati, is it? That's a lovely name. What can I do for you? I was just thinking. I haven't got much experience working with actual, real spaceships, Miss Junlei. Uh, uh, Chief Junlei. Junlei is fine. Um, okay. Since you run a whole space station, I was wondering if... Well, maybe you could teach me some things. I could message you later, maybe? I'd be happy to make the time, Parvati. You can ask me anything. Wow, great! I I'll do that then. Messages. Later. Oh, your your name's pretty too. I should have said sorry. I like it. Honest. Sorry. Couldn't have done it without your moral support, Captain. Now, if there's nothing else, there are other parts of the ship begging for my attention. Groundbreaker's radiators need replacement parts. They're dumping superheated air into my ship. Only the board has access to new parts, and I won't let them swindle me into a corner. None. Every time I give in to the board, Groundbreaker loses its freedom. Soon there won't be anything left. I can't allow that. The board isn't helping, and my resources are spread thin. If I don't get those radiators back online, Groundbreaker, everyone aboard, will be cooked alive. Reasonable, huh? That's the best news I've heard all day. According to my grandmother's old schematics, the parts we need should be in the back bays. Sorry, I forgot not everyone knows this ship like I do. The back bays are on a lower deck, long abandoned and a haven for miscreants now. I have. One of my engineers, plus a small security detail. They didn't come back. I can't afford to lose any Mardits on this job. No offense, but a freelancer like you is more dispensable. Nice and pragmatic. Thanks for understanding. Good. Once you've obtained the parts, we can proceed to the next phase of repairs.
This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Tossball finals are scheduled to air soon. But a scandal has rocked the league and thrown this pivotal game into question. Both teams have tested the game. Coaches and referees are debating how and if this behavior could lead to an unfair advantage. This story brought to you by... If you're hungry, you've come to... They're terror fright. You know what sprats are? Space rats. The lab... Sprat meat is plenty tasty when properly prepared. Absolutely not. Spratwurst, boar, the other meat. Terror frying is a space... Legal between my just as well. Oh, neat! They got stuff in here I ain't seen in ages. Now, this should prove. Yeah, I I'm not going anywhere, you hear? If you're not crew, you're little people. We you think the pole? Ah, yes. Wheeler messaged me you were coming. He must be the captain of the Unreliable, a vessel that used to be helmed by one Alex Hawthorne. And you are not he. Has something happened to my favorite scruffy freelancer? Oh no, this is terrible. My dear friend, what devilry is this? In whose miserable fever dream am I trapped? Oh, Alex. There were so many arguments we'd yet to have. He was my dearest friend. My only friend. You have his ship, you must know. That picture of us on the promenade, me hugging him, him wincing. I keep a copy beside my bed. Did he? Ah, oh, that's just like him. Such a sentimental man. Tell me, how did he die? No! How dreadful. That was always Alex's greatest fear, you know. Devoured by those fiends. Becoming one with their... their...
droppings. Right, right. You're going important places, I'm sure. Big, exciting, important places. <laughs> there. I've removed the flag from your ship. I'm terribly sorry for the inconvenience. Uh, however, before you go... Alex promised to tell me the location of Phineas Wells. I'm sure you've seen his wanted posters all over the colony. Did Alex tell you where Wells might be? Anything at all? You haven't read the posters? He's a terrorist, a thief, a madman. It's really in the colony's best interest that we stop him before he does further harm. That's... Uh, well, that's just terrible news. Law, oh, what am I going to do now? The board will have my head. Oh, I'm sorry. This is terribly unprofessional. It's personal business, I'm afraid. Uh, miserably, terribly personal. Information on the whereabouts of Phineas Wells would go a long way. It's... Well, it's my white whale, I suppose. It's fine, really. Now, if you've nothing else... Be my guest. Oh, good law! Who'd want to go to that toxic hell pit? No. Emphatically no. Unequivocally no. Immutably no. Best to be clear, I believe. Ugh. Law, but it's miserable. My un- Chief Tennyson is supposedly looking into the cause, but- uh, Deplorable conduct. My superiors will be hearing about it. She's doing everything she can. It's your people's fault it's not fixed, not June Lay's. <laughs> My, aren't you... Hmm... Excitable. Oh, sweetie. I don't owe a grease-stained wrench jockey like her the time of day. Let alone my deference. I'm sorry my temper got away from me. Please accept my sincerest apologies to you and your friend. Oh, I'm not used to folks saying sorry. Um, it's... It's not all right, exactly, but I appreciate the apology, I guess. Well, now that that's... A luxury stateroom, reserved for Chairman Rockwell's use. Oh, good law, of course not. As this office is the primary embassy for the board on Groundbreaker, corporate bylaws specific... I'm the certified representative of the board. I have few complaints. Oh, you've noticed my friends. Wonderful. They're here to keep the peace. Precisely. Groundbreaker makes much ado about its independent status and so resents any board presence, no matter how benign. When the alternative is board guards at their gates, Yes, I do. They don't see it that way, of course, but... Ask away. Captain, could I have a moment of your time?
in the red. Were you expecting any company? A neighbor from above approaches our rep. Look at this ripe piece of meat just sizzling. Time to feed the flame. Is this what carbon monoxide poisoning looks like? I don't think this deck is too well ventilated. Uh, speaking for myself, Captain, I am not of a mind to be murdered by a psychopath who plays with fire. You came with the crew. Welcome. We got plenty of space to spread out. You stumbled into my court without an invitation, neighbor from above. If you don't have any business, then it's time to light up the grill. Those kind of like old Mrs. Outflow pipes.
Now we can move on to cleaner pastures. Just keep your fingers to your own self, okay? Incoming!
Are you free to talk? I guess I'm honored. We interrupt your You've returned and an Good work. I'll take those. I need you to head through the large door at the far end of engineering. Take the elevator down into the machinery shaft. There's a terminal in the back. Activate it when I call over the ship's PA. And bring weapons. There's a slight manticular infestation. More than a few, less than a hive. Nothing you can't handle. We were salvaging parts from a ship. Turned out there were eggs inside. They got into the radiators and here we are. If every repair was a one woman job, I wouldn't need an engineering team. As it is, my staff is busy keeping the station from melting down. You can flip a switch for me, but you can't install these parts. Not quickly at least, not on the first try. Able though you've proven to be. Don't worry, Miss Junlei. We'll be super gentle with the ship. You don't got a thing to worry about. I mean, aside from fires and such. I'm genuinely heartened to hear that. Thank you. Something you need? Well, I didn't expect her to be so tall. And did you see the size of her arms? What? No. Maybe? I don't... It's like somebody reached into my head and pulled out what I didn't know I wanted. You know how hard it is to find anybody who likes working with tools in a little town like Edgewater? I reckon there's worse places to start. Did you see how everybody on Groundbreaker listens to June Lei? It's just... She's calm and knows what to do. Captain, if I could trouble you for a moment of your time, while we're on the Groundbreaker, I may have an idea for how we could find a translator. I've been thinking on that. 
There's a former so uh, infamous philosopher scholar who fled terror. He's also present in Emerald Vale. If anyone in this colony could translate that book, it would be him. That's a good question. Fortunately, we're in the perfect place to start. This is where I'd go if I wanted to get off Terra II. Great place to pick up a ride to Hephaestus, Scylla, even Monarch. All I need is access to a data cartridge from the security terminal. Their easily hackable system keeps a registry of all crew manifests for both arrivals and departures. Before I transferred to Edgewater, I had a wealth of time to develop certain, uh, secular skills during my years serving a particular penitentiary flock. I meditated, led sermons, provided guidance to the inmates as needed, of course. I also played prison yard tossball and taught myself a bit about computronic security systems. I'll comb the last six months of departure manifest to track the Philosophist's off-world destination. Thank you, Captain. This is Halcyon News. We interrupt your regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. the simple truth. We are all molecular machines. The body is a collection of atoms. The mind is the consequence of chemical reactions. Therefore, our lives are...